know, I joined Herman Miller in February of 1989. Uh, Herman Miller was a client of mine. I worked for Arthur Anderson, the what used to be accounting firm, uh, and uh, I wrote a recommendation to the then CFO on an area that I thought that they could do better at, and he called me and said, if you're such a smart guy, why don't you come and fix it? <laughs> and uh, I wasn't really that interested in the beginning, um, largely because it was a technical job inside of a furniture company, which didn't make a lot of sense to me. But at the time, Herman Miller was getting, um, starting to get involved in Asia. I had a personal interest in Asia. So my first job, I worked for the CFO, but I also had responsibilities in Asia. So I was the finance lead for Asia. Lived here, but spent most of my time in Asia. I mean, in this area, Herman Miller had such a great reputation as a place that, uh, f first of all, you got a lot of opportunity once you were here. People moved around within the company. So as a finance guy who didn't want to end up being in the accounting department forever, um, you know, you could see folks, you know, the one of the CEOs right about the time that I joined had been the CFO at one time before. So you saw folks moved, you know, laterally across the company a lot. And that was a really big interest to me. And, and to be frank, to have a an international company in little old West Michigan was a great thing as well, especially because I had, again, my interests were really, I really had a strong interest in international business and the chance to go do that. And so that opportunity, you know, being local in this community and being able to have the broader international scale was really appealing. Well, West Michigan is a is an interesting area that I think we're very fortunate, and, and I, I think not as well known maybe uh, globally as it should be that this area has been sort of a hotbed for for entrepreneurs, for creativity. Um, there are more engineers per capita in the West Michigan area, I think, than there are in most parts of the country. It's one of the highest ranking areas around. But you also find this area has a deep heritage of people who had a strong value set, a very strong work ethic, um, and interestingly enough, a willingness to apply their intellectual and their financial capital to doing not only good uh, economically, but doing good around the whole community. So one of the things that this community has been able to do in a state that's had difficult times like, like Michigan is constantly find a new way to regenerate itself. And I think we're one of those shining examples. We're fortunate that there's several other, many others in the area, some of which are our competitors, who, um, while they're competitors and we compete with them every day, we do look to that as being a real strength, not only for us, but for the local area.